today today's Tuesday and I'm gonna do something a little different today not gonna superset the workouts just gonna go tricep workout first which rope push down after I do three sets of this I'm gonna go to standing barbell curl after that I'm gonna do barbell skull crushers again and then I'm gonna do hammer curls right after that dumbbell hammer curls and then I'm going to finish up with, you know, I honestly I haven't decided on the last tricep workout, but I'm leaning towards dumbbell French press. And then I'm going to finish off with dumbbell incline curl. And, you know, if I have time before work, I was going to hit some forearms as well. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And I'm going to hop right into it. And I'm not super setting today because I just want to see how with the longer rest breaks, if my strength goes up at all. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm keeping the rest breaks right now around two to three minutes going heavy again 25s on each side here I got like a 10 and a half or 11 the first set so moving this way pretty well right now Pretty much going right into barbell curl here. I'm not really used to doing tricep workout, three sets or whatever, and then doing a bicep workout. I usually go supersets. 
I've always done that. And it's worked out pretty darn well for me. But, again, I'm trying to see if I perform a little better when it comes to a little longer rest breaks. And apologies if I'm not talking as much today. I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't feel like talking. I should say doing a hundred pounds again I got eight there I think that's more than last time I don't remember I can start journaling this shit down give myself one of those tiny notebooks or whatever guys are like oh just use your phone I hate going on my phone okay I feel like I go on my phone enough as is so yeah I'm gonna pick myself up one of those tiny little journals Keep track of my sets and shit in there, my reps. It's a good idea. Seven there. These things are kicking my ass. You notice I'm swinging a little bit in the beginning, which that's recommended for these, especially when you're going heavy. So, I mean, I've seen some videos of guys fucking swinging all the way down and then going way up. I don't know how they're working their biceps doing that, but. Huh. 
<sighs> Only got seven there. Whew. Oh man. I think I can get more for the next one. It, for some reason on these, I always get more the second set. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what it is, but watch me get more. Pretty sure I got more there. Pretty sure I got eight. Ugh. Damn, look at those things. Holy shit. Whew. I think that's the reason why my arms have grown a quarter inch. You know, you guys, if you saw yesterday's video, the new measurements obviously gained weight. That has something to do with it. But then again, I don't, my arms don't carry that much fat. Okay, and if they do carry fat, it's more so down here by the tricep. And I think that's where I put on some size. Definitely the triceps. Biceps, they look the same. Okay, that's just my opinion. But yeah, definitely have grown in the triceps. <sighs> All right, going hammer curl here, gonna do the cross body variation. And I'm using like 45 pound dumbbells. So going up a little bit, going for between six and eight. Only got six there. And I could swing a little more and cheat a lot more of these, but I just don't feel them as much. Like doing standing barbell curl, even if I get that little sway forward right before the, the rep, I still feel <clears throat> a shit ton in my biceps. You know, for hammer curls, if I'm coming back here at my elbow, going up, I don't feel it as much. So that's just one thing I try to keep in mind when I'm doing these. I like keeping my elbows kind of like controlled. I mean, they're still moving, obviously. Your body's gonna have to kind of like just jerk back a little bit to get them going. Cause it's, it's a good amount of weight, you know, 45 pounds. I think these are actually, I think these are actually more than 45 pounds. Cause I didn't count uh, in the handle and the clips as well. So I think these are actually probably 50 pounds. If not, maybe like 48 and a half or 47 and a half. I don't know. These things are weird. They go up to 52 and a half. It's fucking weird. Whew. But yeah, I think it's been a couple minutes. Again, set number two.
<sighs> Gotta get a better grip on these. All right, so in the beginning, when I said French press was going to be the final tricep workout, I lied. I've had a change of heart during this workout. And I was thinking like, if I just did barbell skull crushers, that's kind of the same movement as, like it's not the same movement, but it's very similar to standing dumbbell French press behind the neck. And also I feel like doing this, so whatever. Let's hop into it. Okay, first set was seven, next two were six, and it was a struggle. Struggle for six. Now time for incline curls. And I think I'm gonna have time before work to squeak out at least some type of variation of a forearm workout. Maybe do like two sets or whatever, one set to failure. Pretty sure I will, just gotta move pretty quick. Okay, saving my favorite, arguably my favorite bicep movement for last. Now this is gonna be a struggle. I don't see myself getting over eight reps, but I gotta hop into this because I need to work my forearms, it's been a while. Whew. 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 
So we got seven there. Not bad, not bad at all. was feeling pretty satisfied with those. So I decided I wanted to do two sets. You know, it doesn't always have to be three. And I still have another 15 minutes before it work. Plenty of time to do a third one. But you gotta go off how you feel. It shouldn't always be, oh, I gotta do three sets or I gotta do four sets. You know, sometimes two is enough. I very, very rarely do just one set of something. But sometimes two is enough. Like you go really hard, like I did there on those two sets on a challenging workout like that. I was going heavy. Why would I need a third set? You know, I'm going to hit arms again on Friday. That's what? Today's Tuesday. That's like in three days, not even. So it doesn't make that much of a difference. But right here, I'm going to do some, I got the long bar on here. Same one I use for lat pull downs. And I'm just going to go right here. And I got 50 on the bar. First time doing this heavy of a weight for this. So we'll see how it goes. That felt great, but I'm still gonna do one more.
find the perfect tricep placement for this one. few minutes. Feeling very thick right now. <sighs> Vacuums are so hard, especially when you're fat. See you guys tomorrow.